By the end of this video, you're going to be able to take your beautiful creation inside of Substance 3D Painter and bring that into the Apple Vision Pro ecosystem with just a few simple, straightforward steps. All right, let's get into it. All right, here we are inside of Substance Painter. So this is a boat asset that I created for a project I called Isla. It was based on an illustration by Rich Jamel, which I highly encourage you to check out his work. It's incredible. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sending this over into an interactive experience inside the Apple Vision Pro. Now, in order to do that, the Apple Vision Pro requires a USDZ file. Uh, USD is a universal scene descriptor, and the Z is just a compressed version of that, which is really great for uh, immersive or web-based experiences. All right, so we've got this asset, and the question is, how do we export this as a USDZ file? To do that, you have to go up to File, Export Textures. That will bring up this dialog box. Now, you might start investigating a little, a little bit and say, oh, look at this, Export USD Asset. This is exactly what I want. Truthfully, this one will get you a USD, but not the USDZ. So what you want to do is go into your output templates and drop down, you'll see this one right here, USDZ, and it's already ready for the Apple AR experience. You click OK, you click on that, and then you click this output directory section, and you tell it exactly where you want it to store it. From there, you can click export. Because I had all of my individual layers checkmarked, it's also exporting my individual texture maps. Uh, that's just for me, I, I tend to do that by default, but the only thing that you're going to be needing out of this entire export process is the USDZ file. Now, the key is you want to wait until this finishes at the end and gives you all this lovely green text. So this is saying, okay, great. Everything has been written out. Awesome. Export successfully finished. Perfect. Now let's take a look at the export. So again, it exports a whole bunch of texture maps, depending on how many texture sets you have. But down here at the bottom, you will see that all important USDZ file. Now we've got this. And the easiest way to get this into the Apple Vision Pro is to either right click on it and say share and then share it or airdrop it into your Apple Vision Pro, which you can easily do here. Or you can do what I did, which was put it inside my iCloud drive right here inside of um, iCloud drive, my Apple Vision Pro, my Isla assets. And right here is the USDZ file. Now we're going to switch over into the Apple Vision Pro and take a look at what we see on the other side. All right, here we are inside the Apple Vision Pro, and you can see I'm connected now to my laptop so you can see my Substance Painter session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to access that USDZ file from my shared iCloud library. So I'm going to go ahead and turn here to the side, click my little button on the upper right-hand part, the crown, and I will navigate over to my files. So inside my files, I'm already navigated to that Isla boat scene, so I can go ahead and click on this. And immediately it's going to show up in the middle of my screen. All right, there we go. So now this is Apple's default viewer of any 3D file. So very simple controls. I can pinch my fingers together. We'll bring up this dialog box. If I look at that line down below the assets name, I can lift it and lower it and move it around the scene. I can also pinch the object itself to spin it around and rotate it a little bit. And you can pitch it up, pitch it down. This is like your main rotating function. And as you want to scale it up or down, you just take your two fingers, pinch and expand. If you never need to reset the scale back to where it originally was, you can look at the name of the file there, click on this and then reset the size to 100%. But for me, that is the fastest, easiest way of getting your asset from Substance Painter into the Apple Vision Pro to start taking a look at and modifying for your user experiences. Now, if you want to do something a little more elaborate, Let's go ahead and take a look at what it would take to get this 3D asset into Reality Composer Pro. All right, so here we are inside of Reality Composer Pro. Reality Composer Pro is Apple's software for creating an immersive scene. In order to do that with the asset that we've created in Substance Painter, we need to bring in that same USDZ that we exported. To import, there's a small little arrow with a pointing downwards into a box button here. Uh, it's import content into your project. So we'll go ahead and click that, navigate to our USDZ file, and import that back into our scene. It's going to get added in, uh, first down here to our browser window, and then we'll just drag and drop it into the scene. 
Now this file in particular is a little bit funny in that I exported it way above the origin because it needed to rest on top of our wave. So you'll find it way up here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop that down. I'll go into our transform box on the right hand column here and just drop it down by like 200 units to get in the middle and then hit command F to frame it back up. All right, cool. So I've got this in the center of my image. Now I want to add a, a nice little, a nice little fun element to this. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little effect element up above it. To add an effect, go down to this bottom right hand panel here and click this plus button. You can then scroll down and say particle emitter. This will create a particle emitter in your scene. Let me go ahead and drag that up. And I want to, I, want, I just want to create some, some particles emitting from above my object here. So let's go ahead and just lift that up. And the particle emitter has a whole bunch of parameters that you can control. But one of the ones that's really important for doing some initial testing is just this little kind of multi box particle emitter component thing here. Now these are some default ones. And how can I do this without adding some magic to the scene? So I'll go ahead and add magic. And then you can go through and you can either change the emitter settings, which is the base settings, or the particles, which are the things being emitted. And for this, I just want to make it uh, a little bit bigger because if you get the play button up here at the top, you'll see that it's just like a small bit of magic going about it. And I, I actually want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to scroll down here to my emitter shape and just say 111. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and make that emitter a um, volume. So now it's emitting from this volume. All right, cool. So now we've got this lovely magic taking shape above our boat. Now, in order to preview this in the Apple Vision Pro, all I have to do is connect my Apple Vision Pro to my device here and to my laptop. And then there's a little icon in the upper right that just says send to device. So if I click this, you'll see it appear inside my Apple Vision Pro. All right, takes a few seconds, but in just a minute here, we've got our boat now in our scene. We've got the same uh, interactions that we had before. But now, if I set this down on the ground, you can see that I've, got, I've gone ahead and I've got this lovely magic in the space here, which I can walk in, and it's kind of like a point cloud that's emitting all of this just majesty all around my object here. So there we go. And now that's, a, again, a very quick and easy way to move your assets from Substance Painter into the Apple Vision Pro. All right, that is all for today. If you have any questions, comments, if you have ideas for future videos, leave them down in the comment section down below. I will continue making these videos as they are requested. So I want to hear from you and I want to make sure that what we're creating on this channel is the content that is most beneficial to you. So like I said, we'll keep making videos and I hope to see you there next time. All right. Take care, everyone.